Hi guys, welcome back to my vlog channel. I know it's been a little bit since I've made a vlog, but we are back. I've been super busy with the move. If you saw my Kane's mukbang on my main channel, I talked a little bit about that. But I'm going to start filming some organizing videos and little things like that over on this channel here soon. But I still am like, everything is still a mess and like boxed up. Got my office kind of ready. But I just got back from Aldi's and I got a bunch of groceries to stock the fridge with. So let's do a haul. Okay, so I got some bagel bites. I had to stock up on these for when my friends come over. And it's just like a good little snack. So I got some of those. I needed some more Texas toast. I thought these looked so yummy for summer. They're Caribbean frozen fruit bars. Real strawberries, pineapple, coconut, passion fruit, and mango. Only 80 calories per bar. I don't know, they look so delicious. Perfect for when it's warm out, except today in Ohio it's cold again. What do you know? Then I got these salt and vinegar chips. I don't know if I've ever had this brand, Uglies, but I love the packaging. Like, that's so cute. So, we got some of these, and then also these Doritos. I got the knockoff kind. I don't know why. I just felt like it to try them. <laughs> um, because after seeing Shane Dawson's conspiracy video, I think it's all the same. It's just like, it looks like a different bag, but and it's obviously a different brand. But like the cheaper stuff, honestly, I think is like the same as the real. We'll test those out and see. Okay, wait, let's test this out before we continue. Smalls may be slightly different than Doritos. Like maybe more like tortilla chips. Mmm. Okay, they do taste a little different. But they're still really good. And they're like pointier. Mmm. If I was blindfolded, I think Doritos are a little bit more cheesier. But these are pretty good. Got some eggs, some green beans, bananas, apples, some little rolls, yummy. Make a little sandwiches on there. Then I got the spinach and herb wraps, mochi. You wanna say hi? Where's Hershey? Were you drinking some water? Come say hello. Do you guys miss saying hi to the vlog? So cute. So we got some wraps. We have some little cuties, avocados, spinach. Oh, it's so bright in this kitchen. I have a window in my kitchen now, which my last kitchen was very far from windows. So look how bright it is for filming. And then I got some of these air fresheners. I've never had this brand before. I usually get them from like Bath and Body or Yankee Candle. But I just like putting these in the bathrooms. I do have well water, so like I feel like you do notice a little bit of a smell from like the toilets and stuff. So I got these for the bathrooms. And then I've never had this before, but I wanted to try it out. Just an iced latte, French vanilla. Got some toilet paper. I really liked this cutting board. I like absolutely love wood like this with like the lighter bits in it. And I thought it was like a really cute size. And then I got two bottles of red wine and some water bottles. So in my kitchen I have this little wine rack. So I wanted to fill it all the way up. Ah! My mom got me a bottle of wine for a little housewarming present. My friend got me a bottle of champagne. So just like filling it up and then I like how the glass is. What's up with that one though? And then I got the dogs, these pet sunglasses. Oh my goodness. So I got one in black and red. They also have, had like bigger ones for bigger size dogs, but I feel like these will fit perfect. Oh yeah. You guys are gonna look cute. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh, her Hershey is cracking me up. I love the red pair. That's so funny. <laughs> they stay on so good. Then I got some olive oil mayo. You guys know I'm a Duke's mayo kind of girl, but I want to try this out. I'm like all out of my Duke's. So I don't know. I've never had this one, but I feel like it would be so good on like turkey sandwiches and stuff. And then I got some 
chicken broth with 74% less sodium. Such a random number, 74. This I thought looked delicious, so I really don't know what this is. It's like a mix, so do you just mix it with water? Let's see. Pour water or milk into blender, add the bag and some ice. Yum. So, makes a frozen mocha cookie crumble latte. That looks so good. And the mocha cookie crumble like really caught my eye because Starbucks. So that'll be fun. And I got these little snacks. They look good and I love prosciutto. And then I got some bologna, some buffalo style chicken breast. I cannot wait to make a buffalo chicken wrap with the spinach. I didn't get tomato, shoot, I wanted to get tomato, but I have avocado and like, yum, that looks so good. And then I got some thin sliced chicken breasts. Yuck, that piece looks so gross, but I mean, just gotta like cut them up and stuff, but I wanna make like, so I got this in the pantry. I saw this the other day. Um, this is a garlic and herb marinade. And I needed some chicken to do something fun with it, but like yum. What if I marinate it in this? Or like coat the chicken in this and then do some panko on top and make like a garlicky panko breaded chicken? I think that sounds so good. So I, I've been wanting to try this. Okay, I'm gonna organize the fridge up with everything and then I'll show you guys a little fridge tour. Okay, it is time for a little fridge organization tour. So up top I did all the drinks. I have Zero Sugar Gatorade, Propels, I love both of these. And then I got my water. These energy drinks are also my favorite along with Sugar Free Red Bull. We have some protein drinks. Love these iced coffees. These are one of my favorites. I got vanilla and mocha is behind. Paradise Starbucks drink and then just some more iced coffees. And then here we have marinara sauce along with some other boxed tomatoes. This is some carrot cake I got the other day and my leftover Chick-fil-A salad. This has like prosciutto and mozzarella and olives. I love having these clear organizers in the fridge. It helps me stay organized and I think it makes everything look ni nicer and more neat. These are all on my Amazon storefront in the organization area. But in this first one, we have some dips. Here we have some cheeses. This is proteins, my HelloFresh meats and yogurt. Here we have like more dips, a big spinach dip, garlic and herb, and that's a cream cheese. And then we have some salsas. And then in this drawer, I have my HelloFresh bags, cheeses, some buns, and my chicken. And then down here, we have cookie dough, cinnamon rolls, crescents, my big bin of all the fruits and my eggs. And then down here I have, which I guess the deli meat should probably go in this one, right? I guess that makes more sense. Go with like the sandwich stuff. Oh, and this, well this is more like charcuterie. So this is like a ton of cheeses I got. I cannot wait to make a little housewarming charcuterie board with some friends. We got green onion ranch, spinach, artichoke, gouda cheese, garlic and herb goat cheese, onion jack, like so many yummy ones. I'm so excited. I haven't made a cheese board in a while. And then this salami is like my favorite with the little black pepper rim. And then some spinach and grapes. And then over here on the side, I have my cream cheeses and cheese, my butters and heavy cream. We have Parmesans and like pasta toppings, string cheeses, which this kind from Target is the absolute best. I have had the craft kind, so many, and when I got these, oh my gosh, I'm only getting these from now on. So I found these at Target. They're the low moisture, um, low fat ones, and they're so good. And then I got those right there, so like little cheese snacks, and then obviously all the sauces. But that is my fridge all organized and filled up now. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed this grocery haul, the first one in the new kitchen. Stay tuned for more upcoming vlogs. I just like want to clean a little bit more because all the boxes like stress me out. But stay tuned for those soon. Thank you for watching. Bye guys.